What's going on, DMG Clan? Today, we're going to do some more Wii U emulation on the Ace Throw Gala using the DNA Duo. Yes, it's 2024. It's going to give you some more. What the more is, I don't really know. I just rhymed. So let's level up our gaming knowledge just a bit more because you're ending 2024. Got you there, didn't I? <laughs> That's right, Mobile Gamer. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up CMU on your Asus Rogue Ally using the DNA Duo. I already have the DNA Duo attached for this video just because I figured it'd be easier to get it attached. It's only attached by one USB-C cable and it magnetizes to the custom adapter clamp that you can get with your Asus Rogue Ally just like so. And yes, you can clamshell it so you can open it up, close it down, all that fun jazz, and it makes a nice clicking sound when you do so. Now, let's actually jump in and actually get CMU and get it installed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to get yourself a DNA Duo if you want to play dual screen emulation. Now, what I did there is I just went to cmu.info.download and then I went to their repository on their GitHub page and I'm going to click on the Windows one that says Windows X64. It is only about 25 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long to actually download for you. And now once it's downloaded, you can copy this somewhere safe, like in your emulation folder or something. First thing I like to do is actually go and extract all. I'm going to extract it. Now I'm going to switch over to desktop mode just so that I can actually use my mouse instead of having to touch the screen because my screen gets a little bit dirty. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna right click on it using my right bumper and I'm going to copy it using my right trigger to my emulation folder. Now, this is my emulation folder that I got all of my other emulators in for my Steam Deck and my Asus Rogue Ally. So yes, this is an Asus Rogue Ally, just making sure you're paying attention there but this is where I'm going to paste that main folder. And then I'm gonna tell you one big thing. I'm not gonna show you how to get games, but I'm gonna show you what the file structure of your game should look like. So this is my ROMs folder. This is my Wii U folder. Now in Wii USB loader or the application for your actual Wii U where you dump your games, there actually is a way for you to dump your games properly and prep them for CMU and what they should look like on the inside of each game is they should have three different folders called meta content and code and that's the same thing for your DLCs and your updates if there's any that exist make sure you download your DLCs and updates for these games as well yes I'm gonna say download those because why not and that's perfectly fine in my regard whereas downloading games and stuff like that very gray area in regards to that so i'm not going to tell you how to do that or share how to do that you can google this and figure it out on your own some now all that being said let's go to emulation where i put my cmu folder and click on the cmu app click on more info because it's gonna say hey this is a scary looking app and we can't download it well i'm gonna run it anyways so there we go oh my laptop just exploded so now I'm going to set my game path. So my main game path is going to be my emulation ROMs Wii U folder. So just select that folder with all your game folders inside of here. And then I'm going to download and configure my graphics packs. Now you don't have to do this, but this is just going to download all of the graphics packs for the installed games. So I'm not going to even worry about that because we're going to set this up in the next part. Now, I like to turn off automatically check for updates because I really don't care. Open separate pad screen, I'm not gonna do that. Start game in full screen, I'm not gonna do that either. I'm just gonna click close and that CMU open up. Now we're gonna maximize CMU. I'm gonna go up to my options. I'm going to select on separate gamepad view and then I'm gonna minimize it. Don't exit it, just minimize it. Now go to options, go to general settings. And then go to the section that says remember main window position which is basically right here if you can't see that and you're going to check that off and the reason for this is for the pad as well when you go back into cmu it should automatically put your windows back and the top and the bottom if you close it down and come back into it a key thing is that i said should it doesn't always work properly now I'm gonna go and pick my other folders. So I'm gonna go down to my DLC folder, my Wii U folder and select this folder. And the reason for that is because we wanna load our DLCs and our updates. So I went down to add at the bottom left-hand side 
And for updates, where the heck is my updates folder? There it is right there, Wii U. And select this folder, and now we're good to go for that. Now for our graphics, I like to do my V-Sync to triple buffering, and it works really well with this AMD Radeon graphics card. And if you wanna smooth out your graphics, upscaling when the green is smaller than the window size, Upscaling filters are used when the ring, yeah, so bi-cubic, hibernate, bilinear, just kind of smooths out the graphics. I kind of like nearest neighbor. It kind of depends on your preference and even your downscale filter and all that kind of stuff. I like to stretch my screen, get over it. My audio, I like to set it to cubeb. And my overlay, that's just for your FPS counter and stuff. If you want to see your FPS, I don't want to see any of that stuff. I don't even want to see my notifications, so I'm going to turn that off. And for my account, I'm going to create an account. And this is just so that I can actually create a username, for example, for my account. So say I have somebody else that's using my device. I can actually put my actual username in here and whoops, it's easy. And then they can actually uh, select back and forth between accounts. So you can just click your drop down and say my kids wanted to play. I'd be like, hey, don't play on my account. My game saves are directed to my own account. Get the heck out of here. Right? So... <laughs> That is why you might want to create an account. Otherwise, if it's just you, maybe you just want to use the default account. It's up to you and up to your preference. You can like back up your account information and stuff like that as well. That'll be found in your CMU folder, which if you go to your file up at the top left hand side, open your CMU folder. This is where all of your information is stored in your app data and your roaming, which is right here. So if you ever uninstall CMU and you wanted to actually copy this folder or delete it completely so you can reset everything, that's where you would go. And that is about it. So let's actually get out of there. I'm just showing you that just so you can see it. The next thing you're gonna do is go to your input settings. Now we have to switch over to gamepad mode for this. So go to gamepad mode, and then you're gonna touch the screen just like a tablet, and you're going to select Wii U gamepad. Make sure you select that if you're gonna be using the DNA Duo with this so that you can have the top screen as the main screen, the bottom screen as the actual gamepad. Now we're going to click the plus icon. We're going to click on X SDL controller, not keyboard, my mistake, SDL controller and Xbox 360 controller. Click add and it should automatically add all your buttons and stuff. You can test it with the joystick. You can see the joystick moving around and stuff. And you can test out changing like the A, B, X and Y if you want to. Maybe you want to change that to A instead of B and B instead of A and X instead of y and y instead of x and whatever but i like it actually set up this way because it reminds me of the actual controller and then when you're done doing that you can exit you can actually create a profile if you want to for certain games but i don't really care for that because it doesn't make a difference in most games because the wii u gamepad actually works for most games as far as i know so options so we set up our general settings and graphics packs so graphics packs are important for some games like minecraft for example Workarounds, you need to select the Mii Crash Fix. I don't know what the second one is. Friends crashing while launching the game when missing the related FFL files. So maybe it will turn that on as well. Now you can change the resolutions and stuff like that too. I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe they're updating this stuff. Maybe it's for uh, for the CMU Android app because there's a CMU Android app that is now released and hopefully they actually make the dual screen option for that now splatoon there's i don't know why it's doubling up on this so maybe this is just a bug <laughs> i've never seen that before now splatoon i'm gonna try uh 1920 by 1080p i'm not gonna play that today and then for obviously legend of zelda which is what we're gonna be using today yeah it looks like it's just doubling up on these for some reason uh negative textures no ssao you don't have to turn these on uh, resolution, you can change this if you want to. If your device is beefier than this one, maybe uh, the ally can actually, you know, kick some butt later on down the road with their newest one, then you can. I highly recommend turning on the FPS slowdown counter, and that is helping with the actual FPS. Now, we can go back into gamepad mode, click on Zelda. Now, first thing, actually, go like this. Grab your main CMU right here and put it up here close down all your other freaking windows because you know that's gonna just use your cpu a little bit more and then your gamepad view is going to be down here so then when i go into my game now i have 
my Asus Rogue Ally hotkeys set up so that I can go full screen. And yes, you can touch the screen, by the way. I am going to touch this screen and then use my hotkey to maximize it, use my hotkey to maximize the bottom screen. And then I can actually just jump in and play. And yes, you can use the bottom screen now that you use the Wii U gamepad mode. Thank you to Curtis, one of my members on the channel and one of my longtime friends. I've known Curtis for quite a few years now. And he helped me out with uh, actually configuring this and figuring it out because did we change the gamepad? We did. Because I was having issues with doing all this. Now, I don't know why gamepad mode does not like me for some reason. So I'm going to change back to desktop mode just for this part. So M, Mr. E, N, A, and checkbox. And then I'm going to change back to gamepad mode. And the touchscreen on Windows too, I don't know why it doesn't work as well as it does on um, the Steam Deck, for example. Now, it works okay for this game, but for Mario Kart, when I honk the horn and stuff, it doesn't actually work properly but yeah i can touch the screen and everything works fine i'll get to the part where i show you that you can actually touch the screen so let's just wait this part out and there we go now we're through the dialogue and yes we can click on the screen and it actually works the way it's supposed to for this game this game works really well actually so if i want to go to the title screen and i want to come back to this later i can just press my button on my asus rogue ally clam shell it down and call it a day and i'm done and then when I want to actually go back to play it again, give it a second to do its hibernation mode, go to power saving mode, and then we can turn it back on. Now, the Asus Rogue Ally sometimes isn't as friendly as even the Steam Deck for going back into stuff like this, but it worked this time, which is great because I'm showcasing this. And yeah, it's a flipping awesome thing. I developed and designed the DNA duo and I think you guys should get one because it's not a niche object it's something that is freaking awesome to have with a mobile gaming handheld or even your mobile gaming PC if you use this for daily use like if you wanted to use this for things like editing videos or something like that you could have two screens and utilize your multitasking a lot better because I use two screens when I edit videos and that is because I have like my file browser open in one screen and then I have my uh, video manager open in another or I'm using it for Photoshop on one screen and my video editor on the other kind of thing. There's so many different things you could use this for. And I designed it in a way that it would clamshell and stay attached to your device when you don't want to use it. And then you could just put it in your laptop bag. I'm an adult. I put it in my laptop bag. I don't need some fancy custom designed bag for stuff like this. I have a laptop bag that goes with me whenever I leave my house and go away for like a week at a time or so, which I'm going to be doing in November. So that all aside, have a nice day, guys. Hope you enjoy playing Simu with your DNA duo. Go get one today if you haven't gotten one yet or purchased one yet. And yes, I know it's on Indiegogo right now just because I am trying to get it fully funded. If it doesn't get fully funded by the end of the time that it's sitting up there i am still going to get those out to everybody that has ordered one i have an alternative for that it's just going to take a little bit longer but hopefully with a lot of this content that i'm going to be releasing for the next couple weeks about it it'll actually get there or beyond because i think this is the thing ever and i hope you guys do too. love you all see you next time and i always say bye, -bye.